This week we're talking about zebra crossing stripes. What I'm wearing today is this year's version of the Breton striped t-shirt. Now the Breton top has fallen out of fashion's favour just because it has become so ubiquitous that it's sort of invisible. We don't really see it anymore as a fashion statement. You can still wear it but fashion has moved on. I have to tell you these things. Uh, and we have moved on to this kind of much bolder, broader stripe, which I'm calling the zebra crossing stripe, and you're going to see it a lot this year. Now, I nearly called this the Abbey Road stripe because obviously 60s zebra crossing, Abbey Road. Uh, but also there is a kind of 60s feel to the way this was styled on the catwalks quite a lot for spring, summer. At Mark Jacobs, it was a kind of mod Edie Sedgwick sort of look that makes sense. So I'm going to start with a couple of those kind of outfits today. This one here I love, although obviously it's a bit mental for real life, but this is uh, a little suit for, from H&M in just a thicker black and white stripe than we're used to seeing. And then once again taking the slightly op art Bridget Riley stance on the zebra crossing stripe, we have this dress from H&M, which I love and which cleverly uses um, the, the diagonal stripes here to sort of flatter the shape of the dress, which is always handy. This top here is from Marks and Spencers, limited collection, and we really are approaching zebra crossing scale here. And then a little chilly for this time of year, but looking ahead, this dress by Jaeger, which is sort of more 50s and 60s. And uh, you see here how the stripes actually get broader as it goes down and kind of makes a really nice slight optical illusion. Now, mostly the zebra crossing stripe is black and white or navy and white, like a, a Breton or a zebra crossing, uh, but it doesn't have to be. I quite like this one, which is sort of Ellsworth Kelly via River Island. Now, what I really like about the zebra crossing stripe as a trend is that it slightly challenges our ideas of what is chic and elegant. Um, but sometimes chic and elegant is what you want. And this jumper here, I think, bridges the zebra crossing to the just inimitably chic and elegant. <laughs> 